Hey, Pete. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad that you're taking everything in stride and uh, you're doing something that I'm following with um, Schlippy. Um, he's an Irish man who's uh, going out with uh, Maria, a Spanish woman over in Spain, Valencia, Spain, and he works over at a pub, an Irish pub. His name is Ben. And he says, if you don't laugh, the world will explode. But I'm happy that you're laughing, and I'm glad to hear that uh, trademark laugh. Uh, at the very least, I know that you're not damaged goods. You're now healing. I'm so happy to see that. That said, what the hell are they talking about? New York City Municipality water supply being sold as a bottled product? Well, I'm just happy that there's not any little floaty bits inside of it because that would make it very, very mm, uh, debatable as to the quality of it. But unfortunately, it tends to be a, a worldwide phenomenon. Bottled water comes from everywhere. You could have it from Uncle Conrad's backyard hose. You could have it from um, a, a municipal water supply. You could have it from an underground source. You could have it from any any location as long as it's potable water drinkable water um, and the only thing is is that if it's a municipality municipality if it's New York City's own water supply I'm a little bit leery as to how much you're getting chlorine and other little nasties that aren't to be absorbed in great quantities um, I do have a comment in regards to getting yourself some good water though if you want to be able to drink water uh, be it bottled or not, um, my recommendation buy yourself a filter. A small filter, charcoal filter, will do most of the trick. Um, you can get it from, uh, I think Brita makes a pretty damn good brand. Um, I used to use it for a long time when I was living in Bathurst where it's heavily chlorinated, same with Edmonston. Um, because I come from a, a small hometown, small town compared to a big city, and in small towns, chlorination wasn't an, it wasn't an issue. In fact, our water supply was pretty damn good when it came to actually being uh, verified every year by the government because there are municipal water tests that have to be run at least once a year to see if the municipal water supply or the city's water supply will actually meet provincial government and uh, say provincial environmental slash health standards if there's coliform found in the water there's a chance that Fecal coliform could become involved, and if that happens, then E. coli could creep in, and it can be dangerous for your health. But in bottled water, that's a no-no. That's something that's usually not the case. They usually filter it more than once. Some are re uh, reverse osmosis, which means that they just leave it leach into its own self. Some are filtered where there's no minerals, salts, or anything else that are naturally found in water. Um, some are double filtered, triple filtered. I mean, you'd be surprised at what you actually get when it comes to water. But uh, I want you to get that actual water uh, sponsorship. It would be nice to have you back on the water so sponsorship and get you off of VB's sponsorship. Because at this point, alcohol is the nefarious being that was your own self and is no longer part of you and you're striving to make great strides and advances so let's see what we can do for you unfortunately I don't have any contacts with water manufacturers or water bottlers uh, but ask around send out posts do web searches and you'll probably find something I wish you the best of luck Pete and I look forward to your next vids and vlogs see ya